your PDP. Finally, your nightmare is over. Peter Obi has been exposed. Hey, guys, come here, please. Just watch this video to the end. Eh? Finally, Peter Obi, can this be true? APC, PDP, I beg, you will start popping champagne because Una enemy now, eh? In Yash don't open. You people can sleep. Nobody has been giving people sleep last night. Guys, watch the video to the end. Drop your comment. What do you think? Hey! Can this be true? Hmm. You're one of those looking to find something, anything which wish to discredit Peter Obi and probably stop him from winning the next presidential election. I have good news for you. Peter Obi is not a Nigerian. Yes, you heard it first on this channel, and I have solid evidence to prove that. Number one, P2B is not corrupt. We've been searching through his private dealings and public life for years now. We've not found even a speck of corruption or stain. How is that possible, especially for someone who has served as a state governor in Nigeria? Everyone knows that Nigerians are supposed to be corrupt. So, if P2B is not corrupt, then he's certainly not a Nigerian. Simple. Number two, P2B is humble, simple, and soft spoken. He even carries his own bag wherever he goes. Have you ever seen a humble Nigerian? Or a humble Nigerian big man? Nah, that is not possible. Especially an Igbo man from Anambra state? Impossible. I swear, this man is neither Igbo nor Nigerian. Number three, P2B left billions of naira and millions of dollars of state money in the treasury when leaving office. He did not take it all away as usual. Who does that? No full-blooded Nigerian behaves like, like that. It's simply not in our DNA. Number four, B2B forfeited his gratuity and pensions as governor to support state finances. I said it, have you ever seen a Nigerian who refused free money or entitlements? Nobody has done that in the entire history of Nigeria. Not even Europeans and Americans or Asians show such levels of self-sacrifice. So, how can a Nigerian? Number five, B2B doesn't own houses abroad built with public money. His wife and children stay in Nigeria, not in Abuja, Lagos, Dubai, London, New York, or San Francisco. The man even stays in Onisha of all places. Have you ever seen a Nigerian big man who is not living abroad and only visiting home? With these few points of mind, I hope I've been able to convince you that Peter Obi is, no, is a foreigner and has no business contesting to become Nigeria's president. His ancestors might have come from Mongolia or Peru or Japan or Papua New Guinea. That is the only way to explain his strange habits. We must test his DNA. He is not one of us. On a serious note, what God cannot do does not exist. Peter Obi is a special purpose vehicle designed to turn around Nigeria. No pun intended. Don't be a tool of the devil to deny Nigeria of her blessings. If you are not allergic to righteousness, then vote Peter Obi. A new Nigeria is possible. Fine. She be now waiting you won't hear with that. I'll be, I beg you, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on my Facebook page, Jare, and turn on the notification bell. Do the needful. Thank you.